Hi everybody, today I want to teach you about the mail to, which is a way to hyperlink text and so that when students click on it, it generates an email. And let's take a look at an example of this before we get into it. So on this boilerplate page, this could be a course introduction or an about me page, and I want to give them the option to email me. And so I have this text that's hyperlinked and when I click on it, then it pulls up their email client, whatever the student's email client is, and it already fills out part of the information. So I have a to, I have a carbon copy email address if you want, I have the subject line, I even have part of the text of the body filled out already. And they could go in and fill in the rest of it before they hit send. So it's a way that they can easily pull up your email, and it's also a way that you can be preemptive in the emails that you receive, the communications that you receive from your students, that you can include a subject line, that you can include that first line of text if you want. And that way you can categorize all of the incoming correspondence that you get. So let's go ahead and look at how you would create a hyperlink like that. And this requires a bit of HTML code, but let's not type it out by hand. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the internet. I'm going to search for something called a mail to generator. And I personally don't know the difference between them. I would just click one of these first ones that appear in my list here. And then I can start filling this out with the information that I want. So as you can see, I can fill out who do I want this email to go to? Do I want anybody copied? Do I want a specific subject and a body? And once I have this typed out, then I just go ahead and copy the code at the bottom here. Okay, now I'm back on this page and we're going to use that code and we're going to hyperlink this text right here, right where it says email me. I'm going to highlight that on the keyboard for the shortcut you can hold control and press the letter k what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put the use the risk content editor and do an external link right here and i'm going to paste in that code that i just grabbed from the other website and we'll talk about the code in just a second but essentially that's all it takes in order to create a customized email hyperlink i'll go ahead and save that and we'll test it out so when I click on it, it pulls up my email client. It puts in the information that I typed up on that website. Now let's hop back to the edit page and let's take a look at the HTML editor just so that we can be familiar with what's going on here. And I'm going to isolate this a bit. This is all of the hyperlink right here. So I have an anchor. All of the code is in the anchor. And then I have the words email me. That's the content on the page that is hyperlinked. And then I have the end of the anchor right here because I don't want anything after that to be hyperlinked. I don't want the rest of the page to be hyperlinked, for example, just these words right here. And so let's walk through this briefly. So I have my anchor, the class inline disabled. That's just something Canvas adds. I didn't put that. And I also didn't put the target blank and this um, rel equals non-opener. What I did is I put an href and typically an href, you would see this as href equals quotation mark and then this would be an HTTP colon slash slash, a link to a website, and then you'd close out the quotation mark. In this case, I'm not doing a website, so it's not HTTPS, instead it's mail to. And where do you want it to go? Now, if I had only this bit right here, mail to, and then an email address, then you click on it, and it would just pull up the email address. But I have a little bit more, and so, it's all one line of code right here. It's a long line of code, but essentially I have, I want it to be sent to this email address and then I have a question mark and then I want to have it CC'd, carbon copied to this other email address right here. And then it distinguishes, it has ampersand, amp, semicolon, and then a subject line equals, and then this is the subject line that I have right here. So module Two. Now when you're doing an HTML line of code like this, then percentage sign 20 equals a space. That's like you hitting spacebar. And so this is me putting a space between the word module and the number two. So it's module and then it's a space and then it's two. And then this ampersand amp semicolon is distinguishing that there's another section. That section here is the body body equals, and you notice a lot of percentage 20, those are all spaces. So it's I space have space a question about the module to assignment period. And in between each word would be a percentage sign with a 20. And then you close out the quotation mark right there. And so this is all the code that we copied from that other website. I just copied it right down here. And that's what it looks like. Now, if I don't want the body, I could just delete this body. And so then, and I can also delete perhaps the CC. 
And so that would leave me with the hyperlink has them clicking on it and it'll automatically address it to me and it'll put in a subject. And that's essentially all it takes in order to create a hyperlink where students can click on it. They can send you an email to whatever email address you want. They can copy by carbon copy, whichever email addresses you choose, and you can determine a subject and the body. And sometimes I do this not even in my classes, but among my colleagues. If I want to take a survey or something, or if I want them to reach out to me to be put on a list, like for training or something, then I put the body as something like, I'd like to sign up for the Teaching with Technology Professional Development Opportunity or whatever content that you want. And so it makes their job a lot easier in that they just hit send. And it also makes your job better because you can categorize all of this incoming correspondence and in this era where we're just being bombarded, our inbox is just being bullied with all kinds of incoming emails, whatever we can do to help direct the flow of the traffic in our inbox, I think it'll be helpful. If you want more Canvas tips and tricks, then head over to our website, howtocanvas.com, and follow us on social media. If you have aspects of Canvas that you would like me to explore formally on one of these channels, then shoot me an email, or just email me anyway to say hi and tell me about yourself. We're all in this Canvas community together, and I'll see you next week. Happy Digging and Running!